welcome to my channel it's me sandra so today i went ahead and filmed this look right here it was the same look that i wore when i went with my boyfriend to his manager's wedding i did post it on instagram and i said i was going to make videos so here it is if you're not following me on instagram go ahead and follow me at underscore underscore at sandra mendoza i will have a link down below so you guys can go click on it and follow me and get more notifications or like makeup looks that I post on there and don't forget to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube and yeah click on the little bell so you'll be notified when I upload more videos so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this look I really really like it I feel like it's probably one of my best looks that I've done so far which I haven't really done that many but this is probably a favorite one of mine because it's so like simple and glam and like nude and you can wear it to any occasion and you don't look really like kicked up or like you know it's a really simple fall look as well so yeah go ahead and keep watching okay. so I already did my eyebrows and then I primed my lid so I'm going to be going in with my all-time favorite for transitioning shades and I'm going to be doing the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics because this is like my go-to for transitions and with this look I kind of just went all over the place and used like all kinds of different palettes. I didn't just stick to one palette. Um, I used Urban Decay Naked and then I used some of the Kylie Jenner lips. Oh Every time I say Kylie I want to say Kylie Jenner lipstick. Um, lip kits but I used the Kylie Jenner burgundy palette because you know fall is coming up and oh no where's my Kathleen lights palette be right back so I've got the Kathleen lights and Morph morphe palette and I'm sorry that this palette is no longer available but I did use some of these like transition shades right here so if you have a color that looks like a baby caramel pukey you can just go ahead and use that color so first of all i'm i already put concealer i put the tarte shape tape concealer to prime my eyes and then next i went in with the nudes um ultimate basic palettes by urban decay and I basically just went in with this nudie color right here for to prime my or to set my concealer. And then next I'm going to be using this pregame color and putting it on my lid. I honestly just used so many different colors for this lid and I don't really remember what I used so hopefully this look turns out exactly like I did the look that I did from the wedding if not I'll just like create a whole new look so that's that and then I went ahead and used the Morphe and Kathleen Lights palette. Um, she doesn't have names on it, but as I said before, I went ahead and used this pukey caramel color. And I just put that in my crease. And yes, I did use the same brush for like the whole thing because I wanted this to be really blended out. So next, I just use this brush. It doesn't have a name on it because it's like not really a not really a name brand. So I just got like a brush set from somewhere. But I used this color extra better. And I just put that color on the outer corner of my lid. It's like a smoky red, red, cute fall color. And speaking of 
fall oh my god it's october i freaking love october because of like well i don't really do a lot for halloween but like it's halloween and it's freaking pumpkin spice lattes like month and i live in northern cal so there's this place called apple hill and there's like perfect there's a whole bunch of like apples and you can get apple donuts and then my birthday is coming up too i'm gonna be 25 on the 16th and that's really exciting i'm actually going to be taking pictures tomorrow for my birthday with like balloons and stuff so hopefully that actually happens but yeah it's so freaking excited that is october and i just can't believe that this year has gone by like so fast honestly when i think about this year like it freaking blew by like i didn't even know that my birthday was so soon or like it's gonna be thanksgiving and then christmas and then you know like by that time it's gonna be 2018 and it's just so freaking crazy how the years go by and we just get so older okay so now that these are nice and blended i am going to cut the crease and i for that <sighs> my concealer's over there i'm going to be using my shape tape concealer from tarte and i'm just using this regular flat brush um, to cut the crease and I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer yeah totally messed this eye up but it's fine because we're just going to cover it with eyeshadow and if you do that you can always just go ahead and go back with that same color and just blend everything in again so then what i did is i went ahead and used a gold color this gold from the kylie um and from the Kylie Burgundy palette that came out last fall. I'm throwing it back. And I went ahead and used this gold color and applied this with my finger to my lid. Then I'm going to go in with that same Morphe brush and kind of like buff out the edges. Okay, so next what I So next what I went ahead and did was I used some black to kind of like smoke out the edges. And for that I use the Kathleen Lights black that's right here, but you can use any black. Okay, so I didn't notice that my camera freaking said I need to cool off. So I go ahead and I went ahead and just put the black and then just buffed it out. Next, I'm going to grab the ColourPop, the one with the I Love Sarai in Cheeky, and I'm going to be using this color right here, I think. It doesn't sound like it would be the name. And I'm going to be putting this on my brow bone to lighten it up a bit. And forgive my brows because I didn't go get them to red it. Because I'm trying to let them grow out. And then today when I was doing them, I was like, damn, I really need to go get them threaded because they're hella ugly. So then I went ahead and just put some of this in the middle. So that I can later on put some highlight in here to make my eyes pop. And yeah, that is the eye look. I'm going to go ahead and put on my foundation. And I basically use like the same products that I use for my face. So I'm going to be doing my face makeup off camera. Because my camera is going to die. It's always about to die. 
but <clears throat> and then I'll come back and I don't think there's any products that I used um, but yeah I'll, I'm gonna go do my face makeup off camera and then um, I'll go ahead and finish up my eyes and I'll be back so next I'm going to be putting on this white eyeliner I'm going to be putting it on my waterline to make my eyes look bigger Then I'm going to be adding some of this mascara and putting this on my under eye lashes. Next I'm going to be grabbing Curvy by the I Love Sari and ColourPop collab and I'm going to be using this as a lip liner. I'm just going to be putting this all over my lips. Then I'm using the Kylie lipstick in the color Dulce and I'm just going to be putting this on top of the lip liner. Then to make it look like an ombre effect, I'm going to be adding the color by Dose of Colors um, No Shade by Desi and Katie Collab. As always, I will have the products that I use linked down below. So to blend the colors, I'm going to be using this color NYX in Abu Dhabi. So I'm just going to go ahead and set my face using this L'Oreal setting spray and this basically completes the tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Oh my goodness, there's a fly that's like flying around everywhere. Get out! I freaking hate flies. Where did I leave it now? Here it is.